Typically, most chemotherapeutics and radiation leads to widespread uh, death and necrosis of healthy cells and cancer cells. Hence the side effects of really aggressive modern day chemotherapy. So what do we do? Well, our goal is to target STAT3, but STAT3 isn't a protein on its own. The activated form of STAT3 is actually a complex with itself. And it's the complex with itself that binds to DNA and promotes the transcription of proteins that lead to cancer. And our goal in my lab since 2007 is to develop small molecules that come in and rip open this uh, cancer um, driving protein complex. So where do we start? Well, we took inspiration from nature and actually from STAT3 itself. This is a crystal structure in a movie that one of my graduate students made. And what you can see is the complex. It's a reciprocal complex between two STAT3 molecules. And what you can see is DNA bound to the middle there. And you can see this part of the protein I've highlighted in yellow. That's what mediates this interaction. It's that bit in yellow that binds to STAT3. And it's what holds the complex together. And our idea was, can we mimic this part of the peptide and derive molecules that bind with higher affinity and selectivity to our protein and inhibit the complexation event. So we're gonna mimic STAT3 itself. Medicinal chemistry is a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Here's the active site where that yellow part of the protein binds. And the way we view that is it's a puzzle that we have to fill in. We looked at it and we saw that there was three main sites within this active site. So then we went into cancer cells. And what we found was that with increasing doses of drug, we saw a decreasing amount of cancer cells. Our drug is selectively killing cancer cells over healthy cells.